Thank you for joining us, Alex. It is a pleasure to have you today for our very special event, Dia de los Muertos. I also want to let everyone know that you are actually our co-chair for the Latino Advisory Group through the Greater Arlington Chamber of Commerce. So thank you for the community volunteerism that you do for us, and thank you for serving as a co-chair. Yeah, thank you, Lena. I appreciate being here on the special occasion and just being a part of this. So um, I appreciate the invitation and looking forward to it. Fantastic, Alex. So tell us, where are you from? Where were you born? I was originally born in Irving, so I grew up in Irving. Um, we moved to Grand Prairie as a young family uh, and now reside in Arlington. So a resident of Arlington, um, my roots, roots or heritage is from Mexico. So Fantastic. great grandparents uh, are from Mexico. So that's my heritage um, and I just love it here. It's great. Fantastic. We appreciate your leadership in our community, Alex. So tell us a little bit about Dia de los Muertos. Did your family grow up with this wonderful tradition? Tell us about that. I love it because you said a wonderful tradition and that's exactly what it is. You know, it started back in 16th century, even before that. So it's been around a long time and it's celebrated primarily in Mexico, but even within um, Latin America. So it's spread it out. Um, just being able to be a part of these celebrations in particular, um, where we celebrate the dead. We take a day or a few days to have um, pretty much just be able to conversate with them. So someone special who has passed away and gone beyond gives us an opportunity to have that drink with them, to have share food with them, to have a celebration and a festivity with them. Um, that's what it's all about. And that's how we celebrate. Uh, myself, just being here in our community, we have so many different celebrations that focus on Dia de la Muertes that allows us to take part in that. And not only that, but to show that tradition to others within our communities, within our families, um, our students, and so forth. So it's a very special tradition that we celebrate for sure. Wonderful, thank you, Alex. And so tell us, because I know you're a father, yeah. I know you're also a church member. Yeah. So tell us, how have you taught this tradition or passed it on to your kids? Tell us about that experience. Yeah, I think it's very important to learn multiple traditions, in particular, your tradition. So for me, for my kiddos who are pretty much adult age in their, uh, in their 20s, young 20s, um, I've always encouraged them to do research on your, uh, about your, your uh, heritage to um, get out and celebrate and understand the meaning of those. And not only just to hold them here, but to, to share them, share them with others. It's very, very important. That's what makes us us. What I love about our heritage is that we're passionate. We are go-getters and, and that we just love on people like, like no one else for in my, uh, how I see it. Um, but just sharing the love and sharing what our tradition means and the meaning behind it um, is very special. And I try to share that with my kids and I see it now. They are really going out there. They're, they're embracing the culture. They're starting trends as well. So just to be able to see that impact their life and for them to share means the world to me is so awesome. Makes you a very proud father. Yes, it does. Oh, it does wonderful. So Alex, thank you again. Thank you for your contribution. And so to end this conversation with you, we can talk for hours. So thank you to you and thank you to the Dan Diaper Career Center and thank you to the Greater Arlington Chamber of Commerce for allowing us to have this conversation one-on-one yes. -on -one with you, Alex. Yes. Thank you for what you do. We sincerely appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.